Hello everybody, welcome back to Taboo Today. Uh, today we're going to talk about an interesting subject, uh, supposedly the oldest profession, uh, prostitution, aka sex work. Prostitution dates as far back as ancient Mesopotamia. You can find instances of prostitution recorded in the Bible. You can find records of prostitution within ancient Aztec relics. Greece was pretty notorious for sexual promiscuity, so it comes to no surprise that there were prostitutes at this time, as well as Rome. Basically, you can find records of prostitution in any time period, ancient to modern, in any place of the world, from Asia to Europe to Africa. Regulation and outlaw of brothels and prostitution has varied throughout time. However, prostitution was only made officially illegal by the states between 1910 and 1915 due to heavy influence from the Women Christians Temperance Union. While sex and sexual content today is far less restricted than it used to be, even within just the past 50 years, the tolerance of what is publicly acceptable in terms of sex has dramatically changed. However, prostitution is still extremely frowned upon. Even occupations within a similar vein, such as stripping and pornography, have seen more support from various feminist groups. Understandably, prostitution is a highly risky business. Sex workers face the risk of contracting STDs and being raped or even murdered. Considering sex workers are usually treated as criminals and do not receive quality health care and are consistently dismissed in legal cases, it is easy to see why this is. I was talking about the subject with some people and two things stood out to me. One person said, and I quote, Well, that's why prostitution should be illegal. Prostitutes spread STDs. And my response to that would be, if we legalized prostitution and monitored the health of the individuals and gave them basic rights to quality health care, that probably wouldn't be the case. Let's face it, people are going to continue to do things whether it's illegal or not. Example, prohibition. You made alcohol illegal, everyone still drank. Didn't really help anything. And criminalizing things like this usually just makes things worse or more unsafe, especially in cases like the legalization of marijuana is a really popular thing to talk about these days, and I think it makes sense because would you rather go along with some shady guy selling marijuana that may or may not be laced with other drugs from the back door of his van, or from a trusted source? that's regulating the quality of the product. And the second thing that one of the people said was, in a quote, of course they're going to get raped, that should be expected, they're hookers, which is extremely difficult to hear because I would hope by now, in 2015, that we know rape is never the victim's fault, no matter the situation. Um, rape happens because of the rapist, and the way sex workers are dismissed in legal cases and often feel as if it's even pointless to report a rape tells rapists that it is okay to rape these people because the legal system sees them as lesser than the rest of society and that nobody will care. I think instead of criminalizing sex work and prostitution, we need to regulate it. Because like I said before, it's going to happen whether or not it's illegal, but if it is regulated, we can make sure these people are healthy, um, they are not spreading STDs, we can make sure that they're of age, we don't need you know these underage kids out there doing this, because it is dangerous. And by regulating it, we can you know lower the risks and reduce the hazards that come with a job like this which you can't do if it's completely criminalized I don't think you can criminalize uh, something like prostitution because I think everyone is entitled to use their body how they want to whether or not it it's against your morals or you just don't like it, it it's not really up to you, it's up to the person who chooses to do that, because people do choose to be sex workers. It's not always just something they happen upon because just unfortunate circumstances. People do choose it, so I don't think it should be criminalized. But other than that, what do you guys think on the subject? Um, would you ever consider 
being a prostitute or going into any type of sex work. Um, and what do you think would be ways to help regulate this so it doesn't, it isn't such a wildfire that it is currently? Because I didn't even know much about the whole sex work and human rights thing that goes on, but it's there, and I want to know your thoughts on it. So, until next episode, uh, I'll see you next time.